know I'm in the Cricut on the Cricut website. You can either download the Cricut software from the website or you can purchase it at Michaels or Walmart. I'm going to click Cricut Design Studio and I'm going to download the free trial. Now you can download the free trial and then put your code in there once you have it all downloaded. So I'm just going to put and continue. Now I'm going to download and it will show up down here. You click save and wait for it to download. Now I've already downloaded it before so usually it'll take longer but it's been downloaded so it will just pop up. And so now I'm going to go through the setup program. And it's that simple. So now I have my shortcut on my desktop. Oops. And I'm going to double click it. It takes a while to load all the cartridges. Okay, so I've opened up my Cricut Design Studio and now we're going to update our firmware. Now, updating your Cricut firmware is crucial to make cuts with your software. Um, you have to do the exact same process I'm doing for when you download your cuts a lot or make the cut. So we're going to follow the steps below. And if you follow these steps, you shouldn't have any issues. So it says it takes about 5 to 10 minutes and we have to make sure that we finish it without interruption. So, um, it also says that some machines will get you to do the process more than once. If that's the case, just follow the steps um, word for word and you won't have any issues. So, we are going to make sure that the Cricut machine is turned off and it's connected to our computer using the proper USB cable. So, the proper USB cable is just a printer to USB. So, you can buy them at Staples or, or any store that has uh, computer electronic cords. Um, or you can, if you purchase the Cricut Design Studio, you can use the cable that comes with that. Um, okay, so I have in the back where your power cord is on your Cricut, you'll also see a printer cable next to it. And that's where you put the one end and then you connect your USB to your USB port on your computer. Step two is, on the Cricut machine, hold down the stop button key um, and keep it held down and press the power button. After about five seconds, the Cricut will beep once. This is the signal that the Cricut machine is ready to be updated. You may now release your stop button. So I'm just going to pause the video and switch over to my Cricut so you can see how to do this. So I'm at my Cricut and I'm just going to hold down the stop button and press my power and it will beep about after five seconds and I can now release my stop button and that allows me um, to know that it's ready to be updated. Okay so now that my Cricut had beeped I'm going to go to step number three and it says choose the correct Cricut machine um, model so I have a Cricut expression and step four is click begin updating now. Um, and again, it reminds you to um, let the process run completely before shutting it down um, or shutting your Cricut machine off or shutting your computer off. So begin updating now. It says, please do not close this window. Um, so I'm just going to pause the video and let this do its jobs because it takes a while. Okay, so... Um, my Cricut just finished the update, so it says firmware was successfully updated. Please click OK to continue. So that is how you update your firmware. Now I'm going to switch the camera to my Cricut just to show you um, what it will look like when it's updated. So I just updated my Cricut, so I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to show you that it's version 2.34 and that's what it will tell you it needs when you do your cuts a lot or make the cut. Thank you.